afternoon. My name is Megan Edwards of Focus Communications, and today we're getting an update from Graphene Manufacturing Group, which trades on the Canadian TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol GMG. And joining me today is GMG CEO and co-founder Craig Nickel. Craig, thank you for coming on the show today. How are you? I'm great, thank you. It's great to be on. Thanks, Megan. Craig, for those who are just tuning into the GMG story, can you give us a brief overview of the company as you've been super busy for the last 18 months? Great. So we're we're an Australian company that's listed on the TSXV, as you've said. And over the last year and a half, we've continued to develop our graphene manufacturing business, which is basically making graphene from natural gas. We're, I think we're the only public company that does that through our own process. It's very low cost, high quality graphene. Then we've got a second business division that we've developed, which is a liquids graphene division, which is around energy savings where we supply that graphene mixed in with lubricant or coolant or coating, which then extracts heat faster, which then saves energy for our customers. And that is out in the, in the world actually being sold and, and saving people energy. And then third business is the newly developed battery business, which is based off a graphene aluminium ion battery, which is actually developed by University of Queensland. And that is a, in the product development center right now and being optimized on a daily basis with our eight or so engineers, scientists making those batteries. So in the last year and a half, we've had, yes, we've been very busy. Yeah. <laughs> so let's turn to this week's news where GMG had two significant announcements, starting with Thermal XR, where you've acquired the manufacturing IP and brand rights from Ozchem. I know there's been some ongoing interest in this division of the company. So can you quickly run us through the release and what are some next steps with Thermal XR? Fantastic. So Thermal XR, we've been the supplier of the graphene and then also the international distributor for Thermal XR for over a year now, with Ozchem being the developer of the product as well as the manufacturer of that product. In this deal, which we're very happy with to go through the natural next steps is to actually procure those rights, so intellectual property rights, and also the branding of Thermal XR from Ozchem, which means that process of blending the graphene into the coating, which is still going to be supplied by Ozchem, will come to us. And that'll be then part of our broader blending program of that second business. And then we can optimize that particular coding for the customer's requirements and then really get the value chain aligned for what the customer needs. So already we've seen some really good traction in the market with some really good sales for Thermal XR and different product projects. And then also just trying to push into some distributed agreements, which are early stages, but are around the world. And so next steps is really to, to crystallize those and start to hopefully bring in some, some quite notable revenue. So that, that business division is well and truly on its way to, to start becoming what we truly believe is going to be a very large business all by itself. And now on to yesterday's news, where the company announced a phase one expansion project to your graphene manufacturing facility. Some significant news for the company. Can you run us through this press release and some details of the expansion? Yeah, Megan. So this is about the first business I was talking about, which is the actual manufacturing of the graphene. So for some time, we've been working on a number of R&D and, and quasi production units. And this next phase of the company is to push that into scale production, which is really quite exciting. It's, it's almost fully automated. I, I dare say it's basically fully automated graphic production. And it will, it's in a new leased warehouse, which is directly, you know, wall adjacent to our existing warehouse. So we expand our warehouse out to three and a half thousand square meters, enable us to produce a a lot more graphene production in the future as well, because there's areas for that. Also provide us a, an area for our blending plant, our second business. But this, this commitment of one and a half million Aussie, Aussie dollars is, is to push our graphene production into the next phase. Our engineers have been working on this for, for some time and we've come together to take this final investment decision. And because we now can see quite a good road for both the battery business of the use of the graphene and also for the energy saving fluids as in terms of thermal XR. And we need to upgrade that production capacity because we see the customer opportunities is growing.
Mm -hmm. And I can't have you on the show without asking a question about GMG's battery division. You've manufactured your first pouch format cell batteries after the successful early prototype testing of your coin cell batteries. And what are the next steps in this division for the company? Yeah, it's really quite exciting. I mean, there's a lot of interest in the coin cells and that's uh, certainly something we're continuing to push along. But by far, the, the most interest is in these particular types of pouch cells, which are highly versatile and can be used in everything from a phone to through to a car and grid. And that interest has been substantial and continues to grow as we progress and get more detail around how that we could use this. And so that those pouch cells now being still being made by hand and, and obviously and making sure that the chemistry works and we have all the things right. This is a brand new battery technology. And but it's completely supported by the coin cells, which we've been now doing for eight months or so. So that chemistry and knowledge of materials and how to make that battery is then obviously shifted across to the pouch cell as well. And so that pouch cell now is going to be able to, you know, I believe accelerate even faster than the coin cells to get here because we've got now a lot of information coming out of the coin cells that can enable that. So the, the engagements for, for the use of the pouch cells are thick and fast. And with our, our job, our biggest job there is to try to work out who to work with, which right. is really quite exciting, of course, mm -hmm. uh, but it is still something we've got to work through. And to finish things off, for those who are new to the company, can you give us an overview, a quick overview of why investors should keep an eye on GMG and what they can look out for from the company during the rest of 2022? Yeah, Megan, there's there's actually quite a few different opportunities that I think will come through through the rest of 2022. But, you know, I think what it, the, the trouble is actually working out which one will come first and which one when exactly when it will come, because there's a lot of work to get done to get there too. So we, we still feel quite excited about the opportunity with Thermal XR and also Graphene Lubricant, which we don't talk about much, but that's also coming through with some potential sales. And then that opportunity then to push that into the market and grow that on a global basis is is presenting itself and we we hope to have some you know more news on that as, as soon as we can to kind of show that that is a, a is is what will be a very large business in itself the the batteries is is definitely a business is definitely something we'll come out with some kind of a, overview on about where we're at mm -hmm. that's going to take some time when we get there we'll release that information and show where we're at with that because we've been working on on that battery, you know, making those batteries for, you know, as I said, eight months now. So we aim to have some kind of release on that. And obviously we've got our, our full year results coming out as well. So there's a few things that there will, that we'll do over the next, we believe we'll be able to get done over the next 2022 20, months ahead. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, at the same time, we continue to build our graphene plant now that will we'll be pushing through. We don't expect to actually have that operation until next year, but we'll still be, you know, pushing that through as well so we can maintain our graphene supply throughout this time. So lots to look forward to, and we'll definitely have to have you on the show again soon, Craig. Thank you so much for coming on and have a great morning. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate the chat.